Hi guys, welcome back to Serific Pathways, and this is going to be another celebrity reading that I got for request, I think on my Instagram, or it, it was on my last video. But anyways, it's going to be about Rihanna and her former fiancé, Hassan Jamil, and I hope I'm pronouncing his name right, because I did Google it, and that's how Google pronounced his name. But yeah, that's going to be, this is what we're going to be looking into today. As always, what I state in these videos, if you would like me to read on your favorite celebrity or whoever for that point, just sound off in the comments below. I'm always open to suggestions. I enjoy doing these as much as you guys watch them. Thank you for all of the positive feedback that I get on these videos. It encourages me to do more. I appreciate it. Anyways, let's look further into what is going on with Rihanna and her ex fiance boyfriend. I don't know. Were they married? They weren't engaged, I don't think. According to what Google is saying, no, they're not. Boyfriend, Hassan Jamil. All right. Okay, uh, someone is definitely wanting to communicate. Yeah, most definitely someone is wanting to talk. I don't know if that's... And I was just shuffling these cards out of comfort. I, I didn't really plan on starting with this deck, but, you know, considering that one card just flipped out, I'm going to go from it. You had the Page of Swords here. Someone is watching. Someone is spying. Someone is gathering some type of information on the other person. I don't know who this is, but let's continue to keep going. Okay, you have another card popped out. You have the lovers. So definitely someone is looking into who someone who the other person is dealing with, who they're seeing. Um definitely the type of energy like the crazy ex it just won't leave you alone yeah let's go ahead and look further into it i think this this comes across as being uh hassan this comes across as being him she he's wanting to know he's wanting to know who she's dealing with who rihanna is dealing with yeah. No, I don't know who decided to end it, whether it be her or him, but someone here is definitely interest, still has interest in the other person. What are these two cards about? Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. That's not really surprising because I kind of suspected that anyways. Excuse the phone. What are these two cards talking about when it relates to Rihanna and her ex-fiance Hassan Jamil? Okay. Yeah, someone sits like Yeah, someone's definitely exploring their options, but the other person is still watching them. Getting out there. One of them seems to be pretty happy. I think this is Rihanna. Like, the other person is... She's just throwing herself into her money. I'm not saying that she's completely light, just doesn't give a fuck, but I'm seeing that she's not really, you know, she's not really um, too pressed on it as much as he is because she has other business to deal with or someone here does. They're kind of just pushing it to the back burner. What is happening in my life? My voice cracked. But yeah, yeah, heartbreak, three of swords, page one, someone's ready to move on. 
possibly move on too quickly, but regardless, I'm seeing that someone is just ready to move on from this, whatever has happened. But it's almost coming across as, like, someone is using their assets as a distraction, meaning it's, they're not it's not a rebound. It's kind of like a rebound with their money. It's kind of like distracting themselves with their money, with their assets, other areas of their life they're focused on. And they're going after that with passion. But still, they're trying to distract themselves. Weren't they Weren't they uh, together for like three years or something? So this wasn't just something that happened overnight, guys. They were actually together for, like, and, and there was talks of marriage. Like, there was, this was a union, you know. There was actually talks of them getting married, serious long-term commitments. And as far as his family is concerned, Ashan, Hassan, I'm sorry, Hassan's family, they were actually viewing Rihanna as the one that he's going to marry. I'm done do using this deck. Let's look further into like how each of them are feeling towards each other. And then we'll just go from there. I'm going to use my Psychic Oracle deck because this takes a look at the feelings involved in each party. So let's go ahead and look at the... How is Rihanna feeling about the separation between her and her ex-boyfriend, Hassan Jamil? How is she feeling? Okay. She was patient. She was patient. There was a lot of things that got in the way of their relationship, guys. There was a lot of things that they had to overcome. I know that they're very uh, culturally different, so that could have had something to do with it. Possibly some type of religion differences, religious, religious beliefs, differences. You know what I'm trying to say. Like, that could have interfered with a lot of things. Like, his family could have had doubts about her from the beginning, but they, they kind of grew on her. But as we can tell, like, as we see right now, it didn't really work. Awareness. She's aware. She knows. She's becoming aware of what has happened and, like, what caused the breakdown And she's going to learn to forgive herself. Let's look a look. La, 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 I can't talk. Let's take a look at what is happening with him. How is he taking this breakup? How is Hassan feeling towards his ex-girlfriend? Rihanna, 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 Rihanna. How do you guys say her name? Fenty. I actually like Rihanna. How is he feeling towards Rihanna? Hassan Jamil. How is he feeling towards Rihanna? All right. Um, yeah, he's keeping quiet about things right now. Yeah, definitely. He's not letting it be known how he feels. He's not going to let it be known how he feels. He's very he's very much concealing his feelings. And again, I'm seeing that like there's this spying type energy that's coming from him coming from his behalf he's needing to get grounded and feel like he needs to get grounded and realize exactly what he wants in his life right now um yeah there could have been 
there could be things that are happening or there could be people that are coming to him that are very much accusing him for the breakdown in his relationship. Or he could just having be having a bunch of people um come to him with their opinions and he's just not having it. He feels very defensive right now for some reason. And for some reason, he feels like that she's going to come back to him. Like this is only a temporary se like separation. Yeah. Like this is only a temporary situation, like separation between the two. In a way, she knows that he is still very much interested in her for whatever reason. I feel like the reason that they broke up, I don't know. Like I said, I don't read on these. I don't keep up to date with these celebrities. It's completely unbiased. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I don't have any problem admitting that. But I'm seeing that, like she understands that this is just another obstacle in the road for them that they will both of them are seeing each other as um they'll possibly come back together they're open towards reconciling but you know another person is just not really bothered by it like they could they're not really bothered by it while the other person is very much pressed Okay, so let's look at exactly why there was a breakdown in the relationship. What initially caused that? Because that's what I want to know. That's what I'm curious about. Because we never, you never hear about Rihanna and her love life. Like, she's very good at keeping that tied up and, like, very, you know, very secluded. She doesn't feel like sharing that to the world. Smart woman. <laughs> Let's look a little. Uh, let's take a look at what uh, caused their breakdown in the relationship of Hassan Jamil and Robin Rihanna Fenty. What was the cause of the breakup? Okay, that car popped out. Alliances and partnerships. Yes, again, there was like a sense of okay, well, you know, you have to choose sides. As bad as that sounds, like you have to choose. Her or us. Again, his family is popping up very prominent. Yeah, there was some type of disruptions. Hmm. Yeah, I'm seeing that, like, he was forced to choose a side. There could have been something that was happening surrounding his family that he had to, like, he was given an ultimatum. Ultimatum. Or someone's family here did not like the other person. Or they, there was something that they weren't liking about the other person. What is this talking about? Yeah, things were changing. Things could have been out of balance as well. There wasn't an equal give and take. Or someone felt like that there wasn't an equal give and take within the partnership. And this was becoming more and more prominent. There needed to be some type of balance. And then eventually, you know, someone was... um became emotionally bankrupt. Someone could have lost the spark for another person and just wanted to move forward even though that they were conflicted about doing so. They knew what they had to do, but they knew it would come at some type of loss. And that's um, what was conflicting them about this situation. 
And in the end, I'm seeing that someone just decided to walk away. Yeah. Sacrifice. Yeah, guys, there was some type of uh, loss. Someone was forced to give up something. So I don't know what has happened. Um, this could be, like I said, their families conflicting, fighting with each other. And this caused a breakdown in their relationship that had a lot to do with it. That's very much highlighted. Or this could just be differences that has caused, you know, too much blockages for the relationship to continue. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at some final messages and advice for this union. For Robin, Rihanna Fenty, and Hassan Jamil. What are some final messages and advice I'm going to be pulling from my Shamanic Healing Oracle deck? Give me two cards. What are some final messages and advice for Robin, Rihanna Fenty, and Hassan Jamil in this union? What can they expect? Okay. Oh, someone feels very burdened, burdened, struggle. Yep. Now, as I said before, like they were together for three years. So both of them are in this type of energy right now. It's just how they're dealing with it. You know, there was, uh, there, there was a burden. They're struggling to move on from each other. One person could have had to leave the other person behind, and whoever was left behind is really going through it. Still, I'm seeing that one person is going after what they want here. Both parties are going to find it very difficult to move on from each other. And if I'm seeing that rec reconciling is very much possible, I don't think it's not. But if they do, I think there's going to be a lot of obstacles and it's going to be um, harder to pursue than what they think it will be. Because there's been things that can't exactly be undone in this. If they do get back together, it could be half, you know, they could have to be secret about their relationship. Lay low for a little bit in order to make it successful. So, yeah, that's a very interesting spread, guys. I didn't really expect that. That's kind of unfortunate, but, you know, things like this happen every day. I don't, like I said, we really don't hear much about Rihanna. We really don't know what's going on behind the scenes in her love life. And it's kind of hard to tell what, when something like this does happen, what exactly happened. That's all we can ask, really. So, yeah, we'll just have to see what's going to happen. Anyways, I hope that you liked this video and that you enjoyed it. Again, if you like to see me read on another celebrity that you want to see, sound off in the comments below. I'm always open for suggestions. Thank you guys for watching this video and stay tuned until my next one. You have a nice day.